PQI involves a number of things. The part that's easiest to see is the training that we do, the curriculum, the, the courses that we offer, the projects that we run. But there's a lot of behind the scenes in PQI. There's other organizations that offer you know, some similar learning, but we offer access to data. We offer coaching in the health authority, introductions throughout the health authority to the individuals that will make a difference to people's projects. We create a community within the health authority that not only helps you through your training in PQI, but helps you in the years to come in the work that you do. It's largely the, the stuff that is difficult to see that has the highest value. PQI's been really helpful in having an opportunity for those physicians to engage with the health authorities in terms of the work that the health authorities are looking to do in improving care and getting the physician voice to the table uh, so that the physicians can truly participate in all the work that the health authority is doing and the health authority can understand more about what's important to the physicians. Clinically, it's really expanded. It's much easier to pick up the phone and talk with someone that you've met face to face, but also to be able to share ideas beyond just straight clinical encounters has been really rewarding from this experience. Because you're so busy putting out fires every day and working on quadrant one stuff, you know, and quality improvement is kind of quadrant two, like high value, but not like high urgency. So it always gets put off, it seems like. So I, I think that's been the biggest benefit to me is just some protected time. Like I'm now the Vice President of Quality for BC Cancer, which I never imagined a year ago. And I'm talking to all sorts of interesting people and it's been great for me because um, it's kind of given me a fresh perspective. I'd like to say that, you know what, it's not as much work as you think it's going to be. When you get compensated for your work, which is great, with the support of a PQI coach, and the training that they have and the training that we have access to to learn this process. It's actually not as onerous as you would think and it's very satisfying when it results in change and improvement. Well, fundamentally, uh, patients uh, are the ones that encounter the gaps in care. Uh, we aren't always aware of those gaps because we don't live the journey that they're living. We really need to know what those gaps are from patients' and families' perspectives before we can think about what the important things are to improve. It's really culture. I thought it would be much more working on technical aspects of quality improvement, you know, learning about run charts or different measurement tools and that sort of thing. Yes, that was there, but I think it's the cultural change piece that I never really appreciated just how much goes into it. To have the health authority develop a healthcare system without doctors makes no sense. Having doctors develop a healthcare system without the health authority makes no sense. We need to change the culture that we work in so that everyone is playing their appropriate role, trusts the other in doing their job, and works together in creating that system that we need and includes the patient every step of the way. It really is a partnership and it's teamwork and it's only together that we're going to be able to make those changes. 